Hi, it's Mike from Microsoft Box and Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we'll take a look at something which has been bugging me for ages, and I finally worked out how to fix it, and that is how to actually make your apps or programs scale properly on high resolution monitors when often the text is way too small or way too big or just completely messed up. This potentially could make your life so much easier and stop you having to faff around with uh, stretching out boxes, etc. Anyway, let's go over to the computer and I'll show you exactly how it's done. So let me show you an example of what I'm talking about. So this is the hardware monitor from CPU ID and we'll open this one up and you can see straight away on a 4K monitor, this looks absolutely BS. So normally what I end up doing is dragging the whole thing across here, stretching the window out and then faffing around at the top here, moving all these along just so I can see what the heck it actually says. So that's fine, you can do that, but it does get a bit grating after a while, especially if you're opening it on a regular basis. And maybe this is happening to your favorite program that you like using. So let's close this down, we'll do exit, and now we can make some changes to actually make it open properly. So right click on the shortcut, go to show more options, and then we can go to properties. And the section we're concerned with here is compatibility. So click on compatibility, and then we've got a section here, which is called change high DPI settings, which is where our problem lies because we are using a high DPI monitor, but the application doesn't really register it. So click on that. And essentially what you want is down here. So the high DPI scaling override. So if your program's not overriding properly, then you can actually get it to change here. So we can put a tick box there. You can choose by application, system, or system enhanced. Not entirely sure of the differences. Choose whichever one works best for you. I go with system enhanced. That seems to pick up my scaling for my monitor. So if I right click on the desktop here, um, go into display settings, and you can see here I've got my scaling set to 200%, which is the recommended for this particular monitor. So basically it's gonna try and pick up that. So every thing that I open that I have this ticked, will try and do the system enhanced version. So let's click okay there. And it's very important that you click on apply after. If you don't click apply, it will not apply for obvious reasons. So make sure you click on apply, then you can click okay. Again, you can apply settings, etc. So now, moment of truth, double click on the window, open up this section, and there we go. Look at that, some beautiful scaling. Don't have to faff around. All I have to do is move it across there, maybe stretch it out a little bit so I can see a bit more detail but essentially it's all there, spaced out properly. I can read all the values, and uh, even with my old man eyes, I can see all the text. So that is exactly what I wanted. Okay, so there you go, a very easy thing to do to uh, change the profile of your favorite applications. Some applications will do it by default, so if you change your scaling to 175%, 150, whatever, most of the time they will work fine, but there's just the odd one or two every now and then which uh, just go a little bit wonky. So this is a very good thing to do, so obviously, Try it out, see what works for you. Let us know in the comments if there is a specific app that you use on a regular basis, which you're constantly having to rescale or resize, or it just looks awful in higher resolutions. Be interested to know what apps are causing you problems. But anyway, I think that's gonna wrap this video up. If you enjoyed it, smash that like button. If you wanna see more content like this on a daily basis, then hit subscribe and the chime notification, and you'll be notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.